Hey, data engineers, data scientists, welcome back to another video in the series on Fluent Python. Uh, here we're, we're going to start talking about tuples and why they're not just immutable lists, so stick around for this. Just a few housekeeping things before we start. One, I am trying to put the code that I'm using in these examples down attached to the video. Uh, so if it's not there, just leave a comment and yell at me. Um, another is if you want to visit uh, the sites that I work on, one is machinelovus.com. That is my main blog uh, that I hope to update every week. The other is uh, growthtesttube.com, which I'm actively working on right now, uh, which um, will have some actual hands-on projects, real world, not toy uh, projects data for data engineers, data scientists, and, and those looking to get into Python. So, so check out those two sites. Um, growthtesttube.com is actively being worked on so uh, forgive me a bit uh, but uh, let me know what you think okay so right here in these examples I have two tuples uh, the first are the LAX coordinates uh, so what we have in the tuple is uh, the latitude and longitude I can unpack these just by doing lat long LAX coordinates and then I get the latitude and I get the longitude. Um, you could see that the type of LAX coordinates is a tuple. The type of uh, lat is going to be a float. Uh, again, I can't um, I can't append or change the tuple. So LAX coordinates dot append. I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, because there's no attribute for it. It's an immutable object. Uh, previously, I also had uh, this example, uh, city, year, population, change, area uh, for Tokyo. So you get the city, you get the year, the population. Um, all of these things we've unpacked from the tuple. Let's take a look at this LAX coordinates again. So in a list, what you might expect is that um, you don't necessarily know what the order is uh, in a list. Um, it doesn't have to convey much information. In fact, it probably shouldn't because what you can do uh, with a list is sort it and then actually change uh, you know, almost inadvertently, you can change the ordering and the position of items in a list, which you cannot do with uh, tuples. And I'm just going to prove that out. But I can't. So if I have, let's see, um, LAX coordinates sorted. So when I sort that uh, that tuple, it, it no longer becomes a tuple. It becomes it turns into a list. Um, the tuple itself was immutable. And so the order of the items in the tuple has importance. Uh, it indicates the latitude and longitude for the airport. And so what you can do with, uh, with tuples that you shouldn't do uh, too often with lists, or hopefully not at all, is assign special meaning to, uh, to the position of the elements. We will definitely use that, uh, that property of, of tuples to our advantage in the next video, another video on name tuples. What you can also do with tuples and tuple unpacking is use this one uh, neat little trick. So in range 10, there's too many, too many values to unpack to 
uh, to get them all into these only three of these variables. But what I can do by putting an asterisk in front is have A be assigned to the first item in range, B assigned to the second, and C uh, have C assigned to the rest. So if you don't have, and then if you don't have enough items, what you get is A, the value of A, the value of B, and then C is an empty list. This can be useful uh, if you need Okay, so for example, if you want the quotient and remainder from the div mod of 10 and 3, you can do that with tuple unpacking. You can um, assign input this way, 10 and 3. Uh, you can use that asterisk trick to put that input in there. So putting it all together, you can have more elegant code here, which you get the quotient and remainder from uh, the unpacked input. Okay, let's take a look at one other thing here. This, this example that we had, uh, these city items, city, year, population change, and area. What's nice is that we can store these in a tuple. What would be even better is if we can have uh, assigned field names to these items and not always have to know that city, the city, the name of the city is the first item in that tuple. We can do that with name tuples, which is the, uh, the focus of the next video. So stick around. Thanks, guys.